Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video. We've got a good one for you today. This is a sealed case of the brand new 2023 Topps Definitive Collection. And this is probably the most expensive product we've opened this year. This box alone, this case, if you want to buy this right now, you can head on over to David Adams and pick one up for $7,299.95. So, yeah, really expensive for just three boxes. $7,000 case right here. The individual hobby boxes inside, those run anywhere from between $2,400, $2,500 a box. And that's for one pack. So, you're looking at a $2,500 pack of cards right here. So, let's go ahead and get this one going here, folks. It is Definitive Collection. Thank you very much for joining us. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. We do them literally every single day and live stream several times per week also. We'll be live tonight doing some mixer breaks and case breaks. I hope you can join us for that on the channel here. And here we go. Definitive Collection. Three boxes. Let's go ahead and pull them out. There's a piece of cardboard on the top. There they are. All right, so we've already run the randomizer, and we know exactly what teams belong to who. So there's box number one, here's box number two, and here is box number three. All right, eight hits per box. Let's go ahead and show them to you. I don't know, should we use this for the, uh, maybe we should use this for the thumbnail. I was trying to find the best possible looking thumbnail. I think that I think that might be it right there rather than just a old cardboard box i don't know but we're gonna move these ones off to the side and go ahead and get into the first one all right so there's eight hits per box six autos and two relics this first one here this is going to be definitive collection one so i have the entire team list right here as the hits come in i will go ahead and call them out as to who is getting what, we randomized these spots live last night on the channel. So uh, if you want to go ahead and watch the randomizer, you can go ahead back and watch the live stream randomizer from last night. I don't know. YouTube kind of makes it tough to find the live streams now. You have to like go and go to like my page and then click on live. If you type in like Jabs Family Live, you can't even find the live streams anymore as YouTube is really pushing the shorts on everybody now. All right. So here we go. Good luck to everybody. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Definitive Collection box number one. Six autos, two relics, and we're hoping to find the big pool is going to be the Shohei Otani and Babe Ruth dual hit card. It's uh, the one of one of the uh, Otani and Ruth batting has already been found. The pitching one is still out there. So there you go. Got a jewel case can see we do have a gold framed hit in there that's nice we'll take that one so someone's gonna get a nice gold framed hit very very nice i <laughs> can't wait to see what's in here all right i know you probably don't want me to go super slow so i'll try to go at a semi decent pace all right here we go so i'm gonna be putting these back into the jewel case for protection as we go along Hit number one, it's going to be Austin Riley. So the Braves get the first hit. It's going to be a big old patch. It's numbered to 50. The Braves are owned by Giovanni Nicosia. So Giovanni, you've got the first hit. Congratulations. Austin Riley, number 250. If you're wondering what the back looks like, it says congrats. You just got an a autograph relic card from Definitive Collection. Not a bad one right there. Not terribly great either for a $2,500 box. Next one, it's going to be autograph number two. It's a nice looking card right there. It's Vinny Pasquantino, number to 25. This hit's going to go to Dan Schultz, who has the Kansas City Royals right there. So Dan Schultz takes the next hit. Pasquantino, rookie to 25. Card number two. All right, card number three. Relic's still out there. Oh, man, I love this card. Mariano Rivera, he's got... The best signature of any player, past or present, hands down, the best signature. Look at this signature from Mo, and uh, also a unanimous Hall of Famer. I love his penmanship right there. That is how you do it, rookies. None of this little swirly, little just 
initials that they do. It's numbered to 40. A fantastic hit right there. New York Yankees, Kevin Newman takes that one. Big hit right there, Kev. Mariana Rivera on card auto with some pinstripes. That's the kind of stuff you like to see from a $2,500 box. Mariana doesn't really sign in anything except for high-end stuff, it feels like. Next hit, we have, hey, Adley Rushman. There we go, Adley Rushman for the Orioles. A beautiful-looking on-card auto right there. That one's going to go to Justin Allspaugh, who's got the Baltimore Orioles. Fantastic stuff so far. There's the back of the card. It is not numbered, but a beautiful Adley Rushman is the next hit up to follow a Marian Rivera. That's what we like to see. Let's keep it going. We've got the gold framed, and this one's going to be Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr., number to 30. So this one, and Dan Schultz, a second hit for you. If you weren't happy with your Vinny Pasquantino, you got to be happy now. A beautiful-looking gold framed Bobby Witt numbered to just 30 right there. And there's the back, a framed auto. Bobby Witt Jr., big season for Bobby Witt last season. He was one, probably one of the top five best players in the American League. Just fantastic season by him. Really came on in the second half. Next one up, it is going to be a Riley Green numbered to 75. Riley Green, this one is for Detroit. Ryan Fogel is going to get this one. Nice Riley Green rookie patch auto numbered to to 75 a nice card right there how many cards in that was card number one two three four that's five that's card number six we got two cards left in this box here we go card number six it's relic time we got yordi yordan alvarez numbered to 40 number 34 of 40 for houston that's for james walker and our final card of this box number one it is going to be a john smoltz one of one it's one of those in the name Cards, man, that's a great card right there. Smoltzy, one of one. Got his Atlanta Braves. The S, I hope that's from the Atlanta Braves. He also remember played for the Cardinals and also the Red Sox for just a, a brief minute. But a great one right there, John Smoltz. That one is going to go. He's in the Atlanta Braves uniform there, so that's going to the Braves. He's listed as the Atlanta Braves on the back. That one's going to Atlanta. Giovanni is going to get that one. So the Braves get two hits. The Royals get two hits in that first box. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this first box. We're not done. We've got still two full boxes to come. So we'll go ahead and put those all back for protection for right now. They're all nice and stored. And now it is time for the second box. Best card in that first box for me. It's got to be the Marion Rivera. I thought that card was fantastic. I love Mo. Growing up, even as a teenager... I thought Marion Rivera was just fantastic. I liked him even when he was just a setup man in like, what, 1995 for John Wetland, 96. He really started coming to his own in 96. All right, so it's time for Definitive Collection box number two. Here it is. Good luck to everybody in this second one. Let's see what else we can find. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you thought the best card was or what your favorite card of this video was. I thought we could find a big Ken Griffey Jr. in this next one. I, I, that would be awesome. Griffey, let's see if we can find you. All right, so just taking a sneak peek, looking for booklets or stuff like that. I don't think I saw any. Get all these out of there. We'll go ahead and be putting these back in there as we go along for safekeeping. And here we go. I see some color near the bottom. We start things off with a Pete Alonso, and here's the new team list over here to the left. You see DC2, that's for the second box. And the Pete Alonso is gonna go to the New York Mets, which are owned by James Walker. So James Walker, DC2, you've got this one. Congratulations, it is a Pete Alonso number 10. 10 of 10 on card Relic Auto. So a nice hit right there to get us going. Card number two of this second box, it's gonna be another Mets hit, Brett Beatty. Numbered to 50, numbered 35 to 50. So James Walker is cleaning up right now. He is two for two. Brett Beatty, rookie auto. Sweet looking card right there. Card number three, it's going to be a good rookie one. It's a Jordan Walker numbered to 50. Jordan Walker numbered 46 out of 50 for the St. Louis Cardinals. Michael McCann is going to have that one for St. Louis. So Michael, congratulations on your hit. Jordan Walker out of 50. 
Car number four, I think that was the best car of the box. Last time it was Amari Rivera. Is it the best this time? It's going to be Roger Clemens, seven-time Cy Young Award winner right there. Number to just 10. He's in his Toronto Blue Jays uniform there. That one's going to go to DeHawks. So DeHawks get a hit. Roger Clemens, you don't see too many of his autographs in Topps products. It is numbered to 10. Number two of 10, Roger Clemens, seven-time Cy Young Award winner. is hit number four. Hit number five, you can already see it sticking out a little bit. It's a purple. It's going to be Nick Prado, numbered to 10. So the Kansas City Royals, Vincent Smith, has this one. Numbered 5 of 10, Nick Prado, rookie auto right there. So far, this box is lagging behind the other box. Let's see if we can get caught up. Here's a Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray, and Cal Ripken Jr. on the card. Fantastic. Going to Baltimore. That goes to Giovanni Nicosia for Baltimore. What a pull this is. Cal Rifkin Jr. and also Eddie Murray, numbered to 35. It is on card. That is a fantastic one right there. So now, some of you are going to probably say, I'd rather have this one than the Mariano Rivera. Man, that's a tough one. Cal Rifkin player was my favorite player, too, for a while. I collected Ripken from, I PC'd him from like 92 to like 96. And then I, Mariano Rivera, I PC'd him from like 95, 96, 97, near the end of my first round of collecting. So, man, this is a pretty good video for me. Two of my favorite players from my teenage years, Kyle Ripken Jr. and also Mariano Rivera. And Eddie Murray's on there as well. That's a great card right there for Giovanni. Congratulations on that one. The back of the card, just backs of the cards are just generic. They just say, congratulations, you just got an autograph. All right, next one up, it is Anthony Rizzo. It is number to 40. It is numbered 20 out of 40 for the New York Yankees. That one is for Lindsey Clark. So, Lindsey, congratulations. You got the Yankees right there. Got that one. Next hit, it is a blue. It's Salvador Perez, number to 30. Royals having lots of hits. Seems like they have two hits in every box. Vincent Smith takes that one as well on the Salvador Perez patch. And the final card of this second box, it's going to be Vladdy. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's a purple. Wow, it's number to five. Nice. That's a beautiful, beautiful card right there. Vlad Jr., five of five, going to Toronto and DeHawks with another hit. So, man, DeHawks, you made out on this box. You had both the Roger Clemens Cy Young card and also a Vlad Jr. numbered to five. A beautiful card right there to go into Hawks collection. So we'll go ahead and put this all back together for safekeeping. And we have one box left in this case. $7,000 of cards in one video. Can you believe it? Here it is, the last box. This one is a personal box. And this one is for JF. No, that's not Jab's family. It's not me. It's another, uh, it's a Patreon member. And he just wanted his initials used. So we're going to go ahead and do it for JF here in box number three. Let's see what we can find. He's going to get all these cards. I don't know. Let's see. What's going to be the best card of this video so far? For me, I, I got to nominate the Marvin Rivera the Cal Ripken Jr. The Vladdy is probably in the mix as well since it's number to five. But I, I, for me, I, I think I got to go with the Mario Rivera for me personally. Just slightly above the Ripken and Murray. All right, JF, here you go. Box number three. You have a gold framed hit. Let's see what we can find for you. We'll just put all these back in there and give you the, the uh, whole box back, JF. All righty. Put a piece of foam at the bottom. We'll put a piece of foam at the top. Here we go. All right, hit number one. It's the Home Run King from the 2023 season. It is going to be Matt Olson, numbered to 25. Numbered 17 of 25. Nice patch auto right there to get us started. Nothing too crazy, but the other box started out with an Austin Rally, which is about the same, you know, same level of that one. Next up, we've got Leo Figueroa, number to 50. The second card in all these boxes just seems to be about average compared to what else is in the box. 23 of 50, Leover Piguero is hit number two. All right, let's start to get into some good stuff here for JF. Oh, we got a Hall of Famer coming up. And it is going to be a Carlton Fisk. Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk on card number 20 out of 40. Carlton Fisk game used bat in his Red Sox days right there. So that is a very nice looking card. Is that going to be the best one in the box? It seems like each box gives us at least one Hall of Fame auto. 
Let's see if I think that last one had, I guess, two technically with the Ripken and the Murray. There's one. Let's see if we can get some more. And we're going to have another one. It's Jeff Bagwell. Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell. So two for the last two cards. Jeff Bagwell on card Hall of Fame auto. It is not numbered. I feel like all the cards, if the if the pack of cards is 2500 bucks, I feel like every card should be numbered. Jeff Bagwell is the next one up. It is numbered, actually. There it is. It was kind of hidden down there in his belt buckle. It's numbered to 25. I guess they all are probably numbered. So Jeff Bagwell's next, and now we have the gold framed hit. This is going to be Freddie Freeman. So a very nice one. He was a runner-up for the MVP this year. I think he came in third. It is numbered to 25. A nice gold framed patch auto of Freddie Freeman for JF is the next hit up. Sweet looking card right there. And we're not done yet. We have a couple more cards. It's another Vladdy. Look at this card right here. Holy cow. Maybe this is going to be the best one of the video. It is a triple auto of three monster stars in today's game. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. on there. We've got Vladdy on there. And we've got Juan Soto all on the same card. What a fantastic card this one is for JF. The number on the card, it is going to be, it's got to be low numbered. Where is it? Is it not numbered? Man, that is a fan. I feel like this could be a one of one. Take a look at it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the card. There you see Vladdy up there. There's the autograph of Ronald Acuna Jr. Got Juan Soto right there. A fantastic card. But, man, I feel like since I missed the number on the bag, well, I might be missing it on this one. But I just think it's not numbered. But it's a definitive trio autograph card right there. That one's going to be very, very valuable, I would imagine. Fantastic card. I like that one a lot. So, JF, congratulations on the triple autograph big card right there and we move on to the relics christian yelich is going to be the next relic it's numbered to 30 8 of 30 it is a blue parallel and then the final card of this video and the box is a hall of famer it's david ortiz looks like he may have signed that as well i don't know something written on that number there. I don't know. Maybe it was signed or something and somebody cut it up. It's number 15. David Ortiz, number 2 of 15. Game used jersey. David Ortiz right there. He wasn't 16 though. He was 34. So I don't know. Nice card right there. Maybe maybe that was the date or something. Looks like maybe there's dashes there. I bet you that was the date. It was like probably 8 16 04 something like that. And he wrote the date on there. And that's what you're seeing. So cool, cool card right there. A good box. What do you think was the best box? Was it box number one with the Mariano Rivera auto? Box number two with the Cal Ripken Jr. and Eddie Murray dual auto and the Roger Clemens and Vladdy? Or was it the JF box right there with the two Hall of Famers, Carlton Fisk, Jeff Bagel, and then the triple star, a uh, very nice triple star uh, on card auto at the very end so there you have it folks that is definitive collection that's a case seven thousand dollars for a case of those twenty five hundred dollars a box approximately and you will find some very high-end stuff in there that you're not going to find more often than not in just a regular old hobby box uh, flagship tops so thank you to all of our participants in this break if you'd like to join into our breaks like this one in our live streams check us out on patreon we sell all of our spots there there's a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for Patreon. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. And uh, I will see you all in the live stream tonight. Good night, everybody.